Good morning, fish heads. It is Monday morning. It's the day after Easter, and we are doing the second part of what I didn't get to show you guys Saturday. So just a few pieces. Most of them are warts. I've got a 10-piece order going out to Jerry today, later on this afternoon. I've got a three-piece right here. We'll talk about that just for a second. And what in the world? More big baits. So these I'm just getting started on. I'm gonna talk about these first. This kind of looks like I should be lobbing it at the enemy. Looks like a torpedo or a hand grenade, one of the old style. But it's a chopper type bait. Um, it's just big, it's a musky bait. I've got a base coat on here. This is gonna be a purple veined frog pattern, just a monster frog pattern um, going up north for the musky community. This is really cool as well. Now, if you guys are in the musky community, then you already know this company right here. Now, this is the Throat Punch series from River Slicks. Um, it came to me in this blank form. It's already been cured, and it's already got a preliminary coating on it. So I'm just gonna make it real pretty. And it's got a real deep groove eye socket. And for those, I was sent the marbles. So we're gonna see, I don't know if I'm gonna stick them in afterwards and then just Q-tip an eyeball on there. Um, still trying to figure out what's going to happen, but it's going to be fun. Might film this one just as a real fun series, something to something big, some good real estate to paint. Let's talk about this just for a second. These are going out to Jerry this afternoon. I, he asked for five reds and five greens. He did not specify only that he wanted a craw pattern, so of course we make them unique whenever we can for our customers. It's got that fluorescent orange on the belly. And on the bottom cross segments, and again, it's not we're not using black. This is that black magenta. It's a really good detailing ink and paint from the Wicked Detail series. You've got a little fluorescent yellow on the eyes and a little bit of speckling along the back. And my signature crawl patterns. Also did it in the green, did the green a little bit differently than the red. The cross segments are pretty much identical but we dressed it a little bit different with the detailing. We've got those spots up top. We've got the, this is a raspberry fluorescent, which kind of plays off the green real well. It's very visible, there's no doubt there. And then if you'll notice, we've got the same cross segments from there to here. So we use the belly segments on, a, I, I believe it was the art tools FX series that I just grabbed a piece off of. So there's 10 of those. Real happy with how they came out. And moving on, <clears throat> we've got a copper crawl that's shipping out this morning. It's got those black veins underneath and the almost the glow black crawl eyes. Now this is a customer order as well. And the Bama Crawl. These are always fun to do. Look at those eyes. How cool is that? Those are neat eyes. Nope, not telling. <laughs> Some things a girl's got to keep a secret on. But we just uh, see it. That's happening all the time. I'm getting stuck. This is the month of getting stuck with treble hooks. Hopefully not too bad. Of course, I'm sure I've just jinxed myself by saying that. A little bit of orange on the belly. And then a Diablo Crawl. I haven't done one of these in a while. A little bit different of cross segment. This is my old school cross segment, but they're still available online on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. So as long as you guys can. And this is a popular pattern. Um, especially a little bit earlier in the season, but this is for the northern customers and the Midwest customers that are hopefully getting a little bit clearer water now that a good bit of the rain has subsided. We'll keep y'all in our prayers in Nebraska and so forth. But there you go. That's all the news that's fit to print. I'm going to get out on the water for a couple of hours today. Hopefully we'll have some good footage for you um, that way. And we'll see you guys on the next one. The spray session that's coming up next is going to be the part two of two on the challenge 
for primary colors only. We're going to do a thread fin shad. So stick around. Hope you guys have a great Monday. See ya.